We are back on Sister Circle Live with the one and only Chef Jannard, who is here to show us a delicious dish, dish that we can impress our guests with for the Memorial Day cookouts, honey. Now, I love a good cookout. <laughs> what you got for us today, Chef Jannard? We're doing barbecue shrimp nachos. Oh, yes. Doing a little something uh, different for them I for the holiday. I love that. So, wh where did this recipe come from, and, and why did you decide to do the mar barbecue shrimp? And why is it so great for Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend? You know, one of the things, being indigenous to the South, you know, we love barbecue hearing anything. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I want to do is do something different. When you're cooking at home, you want to get a different spill. So instead of doing chicken, mm -hmm. pork on your nachos, mm -hmm. do shrimp on it. Pairs well mm -hmm. with the barbecue sauce and the cheese sauce Ooh. we're going to make. Ooh. We're going to make a smoked Gouda bichamel cheese sauce to go Get out of nachos. here and I'm ready for it. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, so Let's go, go ahead and drop, and drop your butter. No, go ahead and drop your the butter. butter first? Yeah, okay. we're going to melt your butter and while you're getting your butter in. I'm going to start on the shrimp. And the key is... Check my heat know, out on that side, yeah, Chef. I got, I got you cranked up here, so you're good there. Okay. And, and, and the Chef, key is... Let me just stop you for a uh -huh. second. Thank you so much for coming out to my book signing in L.A. at the Grove. I of appreciate course. you. Thank you, you know, it, it. It's, it's about celebrating each other. Look, Absolutely. I always tell them it's fun at the top when you got others with you. Come on, and, one, and ones <laughs> that know how to cook and party, too. Better believe it, huh? that. <laughs> We right, still so got to hook up with our dinner as well. We do. We really yeah. do. And we will. So I got the butter going. Is it all right now that I put the... Um... No, so, yep. Go ahead and add your flour. Okay. And you already know okay. what it's about. Now, all right, then. the I'm... key is, is because you're already grilling out over the weekend, mm -hmm. it's already high you some shrimp that you smoke so okay. the shrimp got that good smoke flavor Ooh, I to love it that. yes i've added in my barbecue sauce for the shrimp okay i'm gonna add in this a little green onions and then while you're that. doing that i'm gonna pour these tortilla chips mm -hmm. to here and I always like building my chips out with my green onions, things at the bottom of them as okay. well. I like them to be layered, so every bite you get a little something That's what it's about. It's impactful. Absolutely. <laughs> Flavorful, honey. Anything else will be uncivilized. Absolutely. We are good civilized people, I got to tell you. <laughs> Only on All Tuesdays right. and Thursdays. <laughs> and Friday. Yes, yeah, on Friday. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add our cheese in. I'm going to continue to give yep. it a stir here. Because we want that to just cook down, start blending together. Absolutely. While you're adding the cheese, go ahead and add your milk yeah. in there. I'm going to make sure we keep that a little loose. Mm-hmm. A little loosey-goosey. Ain't nothing wrong with that. See, I, Get a good see, I think cooking in the kitchen together is therapeutic. It really and is. And a lot of people think that when you're cooking that, oh, it takes a lot of time. It does like, no, And it's lots of fun, too. It's relaxing too. to me. And it's very fun. It is. Especially when you got good company. Yeah, that's what it's How about. about. That? All we need is something to sip off. Well, you didn't bring you know anything. I should have brought some I sangria. You brought something. Well, I started drinking a little earlier while I was waiting on the ladies, <laughs> y'all around the round table talking all that good stuff. Y'all got y'all y'all got Tory Hard here yes. giving us all these good laughs. I, yes. I had to finish off the drink ahead of time. Oh, that's warming up pretty good. Yeah, like that. and you want that to just blend together. Mm -hmm. So you just let that cook until it thickens up. Oh, that looks good. We get these I'm shrimp in. More milk in here and a little bit more And the flour. key is because the shrimp is already smoked. You it don't have take to a lot. No, nope. doesn't take a lot. This is one of those dishes that you can already have good to go. Mm -hmm. You got your, your friends coming over. That's mm -hmm. what it's about. Mm -hmm. Now, once I get this cheese sauce up and running, we're really going to be talking about something. Mm -hmm. We're going to be cooking with fish grease then. How about it? Now, <laughs> Chef, what are some of the new projects you have going on? Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, I have New Soul Kitchen that's yes. still going very well on Clio Network. Yes. Yep, about creating southern modified dishes and pairing vegan food together so we give people the best of both worlds. Because awesome. we want, want, want you to know that you both can coexist. This. Then I'm also the co-host of Best Things I Ever Ate on the Cooking now Channel. Now that's the show I love. I gotta <laughs> tell you, that's the show that I love. How do you guys do that? Well, one of How the things is some of the some, I'm going on my third season with them. Mm -hmm. And one of the things with that is is taking dishes that I've eaten from all over the world, bringing them together. Mm -hmm talking about a theme, so it may be a layered, it may be the best lasagna I've eaten from all over the world. One of the things I try to do is, is highlight just some of my experiences, because I've been eating ever since I was about that tall, so I've got <laughs> a tall. lot in my That's repertoire. What you eating. <laughs> all right, it's, is it time for us to go ahead and pull it all together? Yeah, just let that cook a little bit more while yeah. you're doing that. I'm going to go ahead on and add more of these shrimp yeah, over the I top of that. here. Yeah, while your cheese And a little bit soap. of that sauce, too. What you oh, think about trust, that? Oh, trust me, you're you going to get this sauce here. Yeah, That's I'll one thing for out. sure. Oh, this is thickening up real see, it, nice. See, it's shit. about that barbecue, and that's what you want. And then when you cook that shrimp in okay. it, it adds that flavor. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put the rest of it together when we return. Sounds we'll like be right a plan back. We don't to want me. to miss this. <laughs> We are 
are back with Chef Jannard and the rest of my sisters. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and put this thing together. Is that all good? Yeah, you better So my it. cheese sauce is ready to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I'm going to place that there. And I'm just going to pour a little bit. Mm. That's what you want. Ooh, Look at that. Yes. Oh, oh, my God. You got that. smoked gouda. You got, got that cheddar. Let me I got that smoked gouda and cheddar blend together. Let me have oh, some. On the top of that, let me hit it a little more. You want to hit a little more? We crap yeah. it with the That's cheese. That's what it's about, ladies. And then you want to add a little more. Got oh, some sorry. Little barbecue oh. seasoning oh. right here over the top of it. Oh. We're going to hit a little. Sprigs of that cilantro, yeah, give us some color, color ladies. Oh, there you go. I got you. Mm -hmm. Give me a oh, I got you. That's what it's shrimp. about. And you know what? This is a finger food, and we're going to eat it with our hands today. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what it's about. I'm going to go yep. ahead and taste it. I see you this. like that barbecue sauce. I like sauce, the barbecue sauce. So yeah. I've got it all going on. This is the chef of Moore's Hall cuisine. That's French for the chef of love, ladies. Oh, yeah. Don't you have any Memorial Day plans? Actually, I do. I plan on doing a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, but outside cool. of that, today my son is graduating from high school. Yay. So we're going to be celebrating Jannard Jr. today and just really taking it all in. this milestone. I, I got I got one going off to college. It's his goal is to be mm -hmm. a doctor. So I'm happy about that. You, you don't yeah, know, he, at least he's still using his hands like a chef. You're slowly <laughs> getting him out of the house. Man, you I'm trying. a trying. long way to go, though. I know. Sure. Look, I figured in 10 years I'll finally be able to get that two-seater. Mm. Well, you know. <laughs> This oh is my God. so good. And that's what it's about. Let Are you doing any cooking for the family? You know, I, I think I am. I'm going to smoke off some briskets. I'm going to do some Ooh, stuff. Oh, do some briskets. Yeah, do some you stuff. Know, like then we're going to smoke on some maple and apple wood. Let me get some of this I'm going to make these nachos here. this weekend. Yeah. I like a good brisket, chef. And so you can taste the notes of smokiness in it, that nice the chowder shine. coming through the back the of it. Is, yeah. it's the, the good that's what it's about. <laughs> Why black folks always dance when they eat? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good thing. You never see people eating in front. It's hard to do. You know Every time we eat, so much much for joining us. You're always welcome here at The Circle. We love you so much. Uh, be sure to check out his show that's mm -hmm. on Cleo every Saturday mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock. New Soul Kitchen. You don't want to miss it. Be sure to tune in. Mm -hmm. And up next, we'll have Flashback Friday on Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. What's Memorial Day like for you? Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.